Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at iFretless Brass. Okay, so uh, this video will be divided into three sections. This first section is just basically showing you how to get the best setup to play the instrument. Okay, so it wants to be on uh, like a firm surface, but with some give, I've got it on this uh, blanket here, which means that you can get the best control. out of the velocity sensitivity. Now you'll hear this much better if I go into something like a mute trumpet. So if I long hold this little cog wheel here like this, select mute trumpet, and then I'll just exit this now. You'll see you'll get that growl. Now we can make it a little bit louder. If we go inside here, move down and look at our EQ, we can bring up the gain of the EQ. So we're getting a bit more volume. Okay, so let's... So you get the idea, right? Of course, you can go in any time you like and change the instrument out to, say, a synth sound. You can also stack instruments, so you can have two instruments stacked on top of this one. We'll go with blend, but you can choose to have each instrument on a different MIDI channel. Like I said, this is an AUV3 as well, and we'll be checking out an AUM and GarageBand. Let's choose a different instrument from here, Trumpet 2, say, on, on this one, maybe a French horn. Let's close this now. And now we've got a... Right, okay, let's nip on over to AUM and check it out in there. So you can see here in AUM, I have it in an instrument slot. It's an AUV3, and I've got it set on the same muted trumpet sound. Now you can open it up, of course, and play it exactly the same way as I showed you in the, the first part of the video. The harder you tap the screen on a soft surface, of course. So in this part of the video, I want to show you how you can use it with different effects and stuff like this. So this first one, this muted trumpet sound. This sounds really great with Eventide's black hole. So if we engage that. That just sounds lush. Now I'm using this with my little MIDI keyboard as well, but of course you can just play. It on screen like that. So let's take off black hole and let's long hole a little cog wheel here and change the sound. Now you can change your preset sounds here. And like I said in the first part, you can also stack instruments as well, which is super handy. And there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can use a, a range, which you can send the sounds off to different MIDI channels. So you can apply different effects to different instruments, or you can use blend and just blend another couple of instruments in. So you could say, choose uh, for the main instrument, we'll choose this French horn. 
and then we could put in a blend and then choose a trombone now or something we could hear more i guess which would be a trumpet hear the differences so you've got french horn and a trumpet and we could maybe go what's this africa which is a synth so let's leave it on that for a sec so we've got a blend between french horn and this africa kind of brass sound which if we play it on our sounds really really cool like that so let's put in the outer space by audio thing which is a super cool tape delay with a reverb Let's have a look at some of the other settings you can get. You've uh, got, like I said, you can play any instruments. You have volume range, sample velocity range, vibrato. You've got some inbuilt reverb. You have uh, an EQ, and you can use the EQ as like uh, EQ as like a gain control as well, of course. Maybe the sound you put programmed in wasn't quite so loud and then you can obviously eq the sounds as well and you have midi options you can also use this as an mp controller that kind of thing it's really cool there's loads of stuff you can play around with right okay let's listen to it with uh, maybe a different sound let's take this to none and you do get a lot of sounds. You get this Africa um, brass band, mellow trumpets, synth horn, this one called Penny Lane. And we can try it with this phaser from Quantavox. And blend all three if you like and this is how cool the phaser sounds now with all that reverb and for this you might want to actually boost the range of the EQ a bit with the gain That just <laughs> really does sound good. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Okay, so let's go into uh, GarageBand where I can show you how you can record this in and record all the slides and motion and movements and everything. Okay, so here in GarageBand, I've built up this little tiny track. Now, I'm also using uh, iFretless Bass i fretless bass works in exactly the same way if you want to change the sound you hold a little cogwheel down here and you've still got all that cool stuff you play it the same with the on screen if you want so with all the velocity sensitivity etc and this particular patch i'm using is the electric upright bass okay so let's get back here and have a look at i fretless brass now i've recorded some midi in and in a sec i'll record some more in to show you you know how you can use all the motion and stuff like that i've also got some drums from garage band so this is how this little piece sounds <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so you can hear in that little piece of MIDI there that all the expression, all the slides, etc., the, the velocity, it's all picked up and recorded into GarageBand. And it's really easy to do. We're just going to mute this one here and we're going to add in another uh, instrument. So we shall just search for, where are we? Our audio unit extensions here like this. And we just go and find I fretless brass, uh, which will be around here somewhere. There it is. So I fretless brass. Now we will also be taking a look at I fretless sax as well. This one, and uh, and we've already done I fretless guitar. So there'll be uh, a playlist link with these first two in in the video. Right. Okay. So let's open up I fretless brass, and you'll it'll open up like this with the keyboard, so you can play it with the. On screen, your MIDI keyboard, which I'm going to be using, and you can expand it full screen by clicking that. And now you can now there are loads and loads of different options for I fretless brass, I fretless sax, I fretless guitar, I fretless bass. By holding this here, there's all sorts of kind of um tuning options if you like as well so number of frets you could increase that to say nine and you'll see you'll get more range across the keyboard you can increase the number of strings all the way up to i think it's 14 which is like mad <laughs> I, I wouldn't be able to play that it freaked me out right so i'm going to leave that on number of string six but we'll leave the frets on nine close this over here now you've got a wider range of um, pitch so what I'm going to do with this actually I think the best way to show you this is we'll go back to our main screen i'm gonna mute the bass as well okay so i'm just gonna put loads and loads of different expression and stuff in over the course of this eight bars i'll leave the drums in because they're not pitched they're fine so whatever i do with i fretless brass you're going to be able to hear all these changes as they're recorded in so super simple to do this we choose our instruments of course double tap it to open it and now we're ready to start as soon as i hit record we're going to get a four bar counting and then i can start playing around with i fretless brass using the on screen using this play surface here So you've heard, but playing the on-screen keyboard just exactly the same way as we saw in the first part of the video, we record all that movement and action. So it is really great. Anyway, you get the idea and we could say just unmute those now and hear what it, it sounds like when you make the effort to put in a proper tune, you know. And of course we can go in and change the sound. Then of course we could apply some effects and stuff. A you could apply AUV3s or the internal effects. Let's just apply some of the internal effects so you get an idea.
very 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 cool okay guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did strike the like subscribe to the channel consider becoming a patreon and this was i fretless brass and uh, yeah how to optimize it in the first part what you can do with cool effects change in aum how you can record it into garage band same for any other door and uh, yeah top job thanks for watching i will see you guys later Ta -da.